We're playing another struggling Eastern Conference team, the Buffalo Sabres, the night after in the game world that we lost 2-1 to to the Boston Bruins. A bit of a frustrating regulation loss, but we had our chances to score more than one goal. The lone goal coming from Alexander Ovechkin in the third period on the power play off a rebound. Let's hope we can get better offensive production from our team now. Back on the home ice against the Buffalo Sabres. And this is uh, the second to last meeting with Buffalo of four meetings on the season. And we're coming off of a tough loss to the Boston Bruins. I still haven't done that custom intro. I'm going to edit the intro for this. And we'll just, since we're this deep in the season, I'll just edit it for the playoffs if I can remember. So we'll have a new intro for the playoffs. Um, which is going to be, to get me psyched up to play playoff games. I'm actually excited. I'm looking forward to that part of the season. We're winding down this regular season here as we're only got a few weeks. What a dump in on net. Oh man, Marty Erat is gunning for it. He's got two shots already. He wants that early goal in this one. He wants to score. Eager to score. Might make it happen tonight. I think the last time we played the Buffalo State, he, he may have, hold on, hold on to that thought. He may make it happen. It might be Alexander Ovechkin on the back door. Erat taking the unselfish route on that play to find Alex Ovechkin. Ovechkin has it. Back to the point. Alsner deflected on the shot from the point. Yeah, you're watching the Capitals are out here banging bodies. Nick Backstrom doing his typical prototypical deking as he was a force to be reckoned with in the last game in Boston. Our physical play has not let up. Buffalo Sabres are going to find out all about what the Boston Bruins had to deal with. In our most recent contest, that puck squeaks out to the middle. Backstrom, big handles. Even at breaking the puck out, he is just phenomenal. With a puck on his stick blade, a bad turnover to Drew Stafford. He's got a stick on the puck again. Carlson will bring it in. He's got the D behind him. He's got the puck poke checked off of him by Ryan Miller and covered. <laughs> so... The pace is up high. The volume is at 11. <laughs> I'm having a fun time with this game so far. That was a good look to Alex Ovechkin on the back door. Normally, he's money for that goal. Um, as I was saying before things kicked off in this one, uh, last time we played the Buffalo Sabres, it was in this building, first and foremost. But uh, last time we played the Sabres, and they were in this building... We had a highlight reel, beautiful goal scored by none other than Dominic Moore on the side of the rink that the puck is currently in right now. And it was just a dangle goal. That's all I know to say. And it was from a very unsuspecting customer in Dominic Moore. Bit back and forth affair now. Going right at him as they dump it in. They're trying to get on that four check. Get the puck back. They've got a goal. It is Vili Leno. Retrieved it well and walked down in the middle and scores over, I think, Brain Holtby. I forgot to change goaltenders again. Uh, not that we made Brain Holtby work a ton in the last game, but back-to-back -back games again. Oh, well. <laughs> Should have probably put Neuwirth in there. Playing a struggling Buffalo team. And I think our next game is against New Jersey, so we'll just put Neuwirth in there against New Jersey, who are also at the bottom of the East. We're playing a few teams at the bottom of the East here. For this next stretch of games. So it'll be a nice break in the competition. Oh my god, Dominic Moore. Man, against Buffalo. This guy is amazing. He creates a chance for Troy Brower. And he cleans up the garbage for an easy goal. That ties in at one. That was the deke by Dominic Moore. That put him to the outside. To collect it, shoot it, rebound. Odd rebound, backhand goal. And guess what? Your Washington Capitals have a first period goal. Can you believe it? Something we've struggled with. Just scoring in general. We have cooled off as a team for a bit. 
But we're a pretty streaky team. When we, we can get hot when we want to. We know we can. And you're going to want to, when we get to the playoffs, really miss Brooks like with that pass. That was, a, that was not a good pass at all. Just rim that around. It's going to be away from Carlson and from the Washington Capitals in general here. Now we got it back. Alzer. Someone want to skate? We're going to have to send it up the boards. It's going to go into the bench and out of play. We'll do it again in the D zone here. Need a face-off win. First line for the Caps out there, though. And we don't win it. This has been one of Nick Backstrom's rare weaknesses, is being in the face-off dot. We're on that. Okay, we'll give it to Ovechkin. It's going to be sticked away, though, from Ovechkin. Oh, my God. Alex Ovechkin. Duh, took a bit of a bump there from Weber, but it's fine. I'm going to step in here. Close off Vanek. Not so easily. Vanek's dangerous as well. That finds Erat. Again, Marty Erat. The Spinorama Wonder Kid. And the man that's tried to get on the board in this game so far. Still looking for options. Green, we're going to pull it back. Erat will receive the return pass. He tried to get away from the pressure. He's got it back and he flings another weird one on. <laughs> Shoot the puck from the corner, basically, in this game. And... Nearly scoring goals or creating chances for his teammates to score goals. That's how Troy Brower got one in this game. That's how he got the lone goal for the Capitals so far in this one. We're going to shoot. Bit of a surprising shot. Like, rebound. Oh, man, we got to eat all over that. But you know who was eating up? Ryan Miller with that save. Splendid save by Ryan Miller. Spectacular work in the goal crease. Greatness has got to recognize greatness. Oh, that pops up behind Holpe, who I accidentally pressed the button an extra time or two, and it caused the pass. Puck careens out in the slot. Brooks like, and we'll send it down the ice. Might become an icing. Miller's got his hand up. He wants the icing. He's going to get it. Christian Ehrhoff touches up. Forget Holpe. Look at the save that Ryan Miller made on the other end of the rink. That was just highway robbery. Wasn't ready for this faceoff. We've lost it again. D zone faceoff. The big block from Johansson. It's actually kicked back in on that clear out. Play. Brooks like up and over move. Behind him, but he's offside. Do the Sabres like the Sabres don't like that? They don't like the attempt of at the shot after the whistle, so we're gonna skate away. Can I shoot the puck? <laughs> I tried to do that in the last game. There was a whistle uh, for an off for a, there was a offside and a shot after the whistle and the Bruins didn't like it We've done the same thing again on accident in this game Sitting guys down just absolutely taking bodies last couple games our hitting numbers have gone up Okay, a little bit crossed up on that one that was gonna deflect wide back to the point back down low to Wolski Having a bit of a time with it for barrel tic-tac passing not quite I had the guy tied up on the net front. That's what I was trying to do with that. John Scott. You're not going to knock John Scott off the puck very often. Oh, no. John Scott's got it back to Cody Hodson. I don't know if John Scott's going to shoot it. He, can't, he can barely even make the pass there. Oh, my God. Oh, if we pulled that off, that would have been the weirdest deke ever. And the break the puck out, no less. Green gets a good piece of Cody Hodson. But he's still got the puck back. John Scott's chance flips wide. Wolski out to center. You know, if there's anyone we can ever dangle, it's John Scott. I'm all respect to John Scott. He did one thing really well, and that was fighting. The rest of the hockey element, I, I don't know about. Certainly not the goal scoring. That is Alex Ovechkin's mantra. Oh, blocked by Tyler Myers. Unfortunate. Rim it back down low. An awkward bank pass. Didn't do what I wanted it to do. We're coming back on the back check. Alter. Got to keep Lano to the outside. He's got the goal in this game for the Sabres. Floats a rebound. Carlson. Johnny on the spot again. He was in the last game. Well, that's not going to help to skate right into Tyler Myers. But this might. Ovi. Rebound. Put on the rebound by Marty Erat. I think that is. As a Snow Angel style save is attempted and made by Ryan Miller. Just trying to get the puck working its way to the net. You might create some chances. It was on the pad. 
of Ryan Miller sitting on the top of the pad there. Offensive zone faceoff. Maybe we try to see a little more from the defense in this game offensively. They just tried to throw it to the corner, to the boards. It worked out for him, didn't it? Portier, he sat down with relative ease as well. That'll become an icing. Unless Brooks like will negate it. In front, Chibuot. Chimera, okay. I don't know what the goal was with that play to Chimera. It was supposed to be an easier one-timer than that. And the Sabres end up with a chance on net. We've skied one out to center. Johansson collects it with speed. Peels back. In front. Takes it hard to the net and it goes in. Johansson has scored a goal on that play. I think it went off of his body. He had an, an initial shot that was rejected by Miller. And I think his body knocks this into the net as he stayed with it. Or maybe it had enough momentum to squeak over. This is a better camera to see it from. Oh no, it had enough momentum to go over on the initial shot. Okay. Miller definitely got a piece of it. But clearly it's not enough. The Capitals take a 2-1 lead. Uh, so not, to, not only have we scored in the first period, but we scored twice in the first period. So an oddity for this team. We'll, we'll just have to dance to the outside. Dominic Moore against John Scott. Showing off them hands. His handy work. Look for that deflection, rebound chance, whatever you need to do to get a goal. So I thought Johansson's chance, he got a second piece of. There was no need. Over to Dominic Moore. <laughs> Trying to dance around this Buffalo defense. As he did the last time they were here. That'll be the end of the period. I can't say that I have any qualms with our first period performance. Starting to play a lot better as a team and just playing better overall. Especially in the first period of this game. We've gotten our offense and our collected selves all together again. Ovi. Floater. Didn't even mean to shoot it. It was an accident. But nonetheless, if we can stay in on the four check, we can keep the puck in. Giving him way too much space in the breakout. Drew Stafford's going to have an easy shot. Okay, he's going to pull it up. I mean, he, he had an easy shot if he took it. He could have elected to take it. He took, he took his time with that one, decided to pass up the shooting opportunity. The Sabres are keeping it in. Stafford takes this opportunity, gets that on net. We have sat down. What <laughs> happened? Did you see John Carlson? Oh, oh, Vetchkin skate the stick move. John Carlson was literally riding a Sabres player like a horsey. <laughs> I don't know what's going on out here. Oh, Vetchkin nearly had a highlight worthy goal. Headman's it up to Marty Erat. He's going to have to windmill it. Oh, I thought he had it. I really thought he had it. That's going to become an icing. Unless we don't touch it, we have touched the icing. <laughs> we touched the icing. We touched the puck for the icing. Oh, there was too much going on for a moment there. Alexander Ovechkin's move and then shot. That was pretty sick. Oh, shoot. Yep. Punch it down low. Do whatever you got to do, man. These one-timers from defense to defense do not work very often for me. We've gone chasing with Green behind the net. It's going to squeak across the crease. Bank pass. Misses Ribeiro. It's kept in by Weber. Save off the pad of Holpe. Again, we're just chasing. We're spending this game chasing defensively. Green moves it to Ribeiro. Ribeiro stops. Cuts back against the grain nicely. And it's going to be kept in by the Sabres. I was just about to break the puck out. Kick it back up. Oh, we're doing a poor job defensively right now. This Buffalo team has us on the ropes. Oh, get it out, guys. Wolski finally gets the message. Weber's chasing. So is Fair. This dies out. Shy of the icing line, Weber takes a big spill. I haven't changed anything about the body checking. It's just overly ridiculous right now. And the game gave me a weird whistle as the puck goes in the net. But after the whistle, so it doesn't count. <laughs> it doesn't count for anything. Oh, tighten up defensively. That's the only message that I can give this team. We're going to go puck side attack. Because we are chasing the ever-living daylights out of this offense. Making us work for it. Another shot put on and put away by Holpe. Erat goes to Ovechkin cross rink. Ovechkin steps to the middle. It's left for Erat. Backstrom kind of picks it up. Okay. And they'll stretch the ice with a long pass. Vanek fires. Slap shot saved by Holpe. Vanek's pushed down. And back out to center it goes. McNabb is poke checked. But the Sabres have it back for now. 
playing a very frenzied game right now with the Buffalo Sabres. It's not my game plan coming into this one. We have no speed. So the rare Ovech can dump in. Erat is pinned. We'll further this for Backstrom. Backstrom to Erat. Erat can't get a piece of it. Oh. You know, you had the setup perfectly done there. Marty Erat is going to score a goal tonight. It just has that vibe, yo. Has that feeling. That's a weird floater. It's John Scott in the corner. Not a dangerous player at all. Found a way, to, I think, to get that shot through on net. Chimera, we need this. And we will have it. And we've taken the net off. Well, that was a really hard back check by Tyler Myers. And I'm not sure what this is John Scott's chance in front. He just kind of was like, hey, man, I hit the net. I'll take it. It actually bounced off his teammate, Portier. I don't know who that was standing in that front. Oh, man. I was not at all prepared for a face-off there. And we almost got it back. We should have gotten it back even off the lost face-off. Sabres are just doing a good job of bringing it up the ice and in transition. Steve Ott scores on the five-hole of Brain Holpe as we got caught defensively. Caught napping a lot through the neutral zone in this game. I mean, we, we did get Schultz back on D. You see him, number 55. And yet, he's trailing the play the whole way. So, he should have got a stick in there anyway. But despite the fact he was behind the player, Steve Ott, the goal scorer, should have interrupted that with a stick or something. But a tie game, 2-2 game now. So, you can never completely count the Sabres out of this one. The way we've been chasing the Sabres defensively, Gerby... We could have lined up Nathan Gerby for a big hit. We've actually whacked it further back behind our net. This one's out to the point. And it's flung on again. We're just going to send it for Troy Brower a little bit behind Brower. So Brower couldn't get to the puck. And we've, we've gone whack and we did not take a penalty. That misses as it careens out the other side. It just works like a clear for the Capitals who desperately needed one. Brower is on Airhoff. Erhoff finds Gerby, who stretches the length of the ice. We've been letting these guys do this the whole evening. Get in defensive position and just clean them up. Schultz went chasing. That was the AI went chasing all over the rink after Nathan Gerby. Another one's put on by the Sabres. We are finally out in the way, but Brooks like not even really fully to safety here as he pushes his puck to the corner. Like takes it hard to the net. Ryan Miller will cover. At least Brooks Like was able to generate some sort of something. We need more offensive zone time. We don't have enough ozone time right now in this game. And after a, a really satisfying first period, it's fallen away for us lately. Oh, yes. There we go. Ovechkin. A move. A shot. It'll be a shot on goal. And I'll happily take that shot on goal. Just don't change the line. Just keep the first line out there. I mean, if they're already out there to begin with. That's a problem with us. 11 shots for the Sabres. Two for us. And just, just two in this period. Nick Backstrom looking for that OV chance. It'll be the point instead. Rebound for Ovechkin off of the Carlson shot. He couldn't quite bat it out of the air. Oh, the broken stick. Take advantage of this. And we ice it instead. Good job, Ovechkin. Way to go, buddy. Well, that really is going to take a little bit of the wind out of your sails. Icing the puck on that situation. I mean, we got a lucky break on that, too. They dumped it in. They went to dump it in or dump it on net or whatever the hell they went to do. On, the sh on that try, the stick broke. Okay, Ovechkin, I love the creativity, man. If we just got to pull one of these moves off. You're going to eat one, Weber. Okay. Ovechkin's got to watch his temper out there sometimes. He took a bad penalty at the end of the Bruins game. And he got in a fight. He really exchanged some fists. But it cost us a chance at getting back in that game. Ovechkin's got to be all over this. He is. Trying to dance his way to the net. Oh, man, he has done some tumbles. <laughs> he looks like a freaking rag doll. <laughs> oh, we got to watch Ovi. We need him for the playoffs. Can't let him be out there getting injured. Taking unnecessary risks. Oh, <laughs> it's so frustrating when your forecheck is on it like that. Our D, man. Our D are not properly playing their gaps. I and mean, we're not making passes at all. 
Getting, get, letting this game get away from us a little bit here. It's out. It's got to be out. Jamera, yes. All right, let's not have Tyler Myers take the net off and take us off the puck this time. He didn't. Fair. Watch that stick, buddy. Nope. Oh, it does get through, though. Ooh, what a chance. We did screen our goaltender on that one. It's fair, streaking down the wing. Trying to dance around Weber, but it did not work. It led to nothing. We had two men way too aggressive on the forecheck. The stretch pass is continuing to work. Okay, I'm I'm not even sure what to do at this point. 1-4, we, we can't let them just stretch the middle of the rink like this. Come on, Alsner. Your job is to hit a one-timing play there. It's starting to piss me off, honestly, the way you guys are messing, messing up plays like this. Ovechkin back to Backstrom. Shot. Not coming. It's not going to get on net. Any it's not gonna even going to get away anyway. And it could be so easy to get very quickly frustrated with this game. The way that we're giving up. What the hell was Ryan Miller doing on that play? We are offside. That, what the hell? He's just like, hey, you know, my, my guys are going to win it so clean. They're going to win it back to me. I want to get involved in the offense here. He was way out of the net. And then Ovechkin AI ran into him. Not careful, that is a penalty. He almost did a full-on Milan Lucic on Ryan Miller. <laughs> there. If you know that play, if you know what I'm talking about. Oh my god. RD through the middle of the rink. Just our defense in general. I should have taken a face off there. That's one of those times where you feel like you need one. Yeah, that deke is never successful. Doesn't matter who's doing it. Don't know why I continue to do it. I have to start trapping. Even them. Look at we were on him. We were supposed to be on him, and we're not. Oh, there we go, Ovi. The fake shot almost had Tyler Myers out of sorts. We have Brooks like Ovi. Someone, please shoot the puck and get it on net. At the point, Alsner. Boom. Great deflection, Brooks like. There we go. Need that offense. Offense has got to start showing up. D needs to start showing up too. Closing, closing these guys off on the blue line. It helps if your forecheck is successful too. That does If your forecheck works, you don't have to give up a, a long stretch pass if it's successful. But it's not always going to be. That's bad. That's a goal waiting to happen. That is just a goal waiting to happen for us. Johansson. Show us those moves, buddy. <laughs> Did that right into uh, whoever the defenseman was. Poked back in. Oh, they're, they're really all over us. All right, that was kept in brilliantly. Shot. That's also deflected. And probably held out by Miller. Green. Down low. Ah, yeah, he was tied up on the side of the net, though. He was showing me stick, so I had to try and get it down there to me. He was showing me stick. Derby does a nice job to pull up. Odd block down. Hecht. Okay. We have we have time to maneuver here. Almost. I mean, the windmill was probably not the move to be done there. Rimmed around perfectly by Buffalo, but we're going to be the ones getting to it first. Over to Alsner. And we just we, we'll just dump it in. We are on side with this dump in, by the way. There you go. Get a get a good piece of him. Fair. Aiming up high by the ear of Ryan Miller with that slap shot, but it doesn't go in. Miller is going to be a tough goaltender to beat three, four times in a game. 12 to go in the third. Tight game. Just two goals for your, for your Capitals by this point. I would. I feel... Oh, I didn't even mean to do that with, with Orlov. I don't know what the hell he did, but that was pretty sick. And he recovers nicely as well on D. We'll go back to him. Oops, Comiskey. Over to Orlov. You got your defenseman bailing you out on the outlet. It finds Perot anyway. This is Perot. Oh, no. Ryan Miller made a good play. Or else I would have had a wide open net with that. Brower, stick lifted. Brower shoots. Need that. We need that shot on goal there. We just need something. Keep making them take D zone draws. Win your face offs. Get a setup. My brain's too tired to keep up with this commentary at this point in this gameplay. So let's just get a goal so we can get this victory. Get out of here. Oh, pass back to the point missing. 
Ovechkin responsible for that missed pass. Not the first one he's missed in this game. Oh, it took a big bump from Cody Hodgson. It's back to center. We were going to get it at first. It seemed like we were going to get it. Stacking up on this blue line. Half a period to go. Sabres are not liking what they see. They're trying to figure out how they're going to get this puck over the blue line. They will try with Hodge, and he does get it over and in deeper into the zone on that dump in, that chip play. I got this guy at the point with Chimera. There we go. In transition, can we hit Chimera? We do. It's questionable that that's offside. That'll be a D-zone face-off too, won't it? And it is. It was merely offside. Tough. Tough little play. We were really trying to lead Chimera. And Ennis gets a good look on the net. And that's all as a result of our misplay on that pass. Oh, the oh, and Fair's going to the box. The self-pass didn't work. Probably got a little bit frustrated trying to pass it to myself there with Fair. And then lost possession, took a tripping penalty, poking at it, trying desperately to get it back. And we'll go on our first penalty kill of the evening. Neither team has taken... That's the craziest thing about this game. There's not been a single penalty taken by either team to this point in the game. We're the first team to take a penalty. Not too not too crazy on the on the forecheck here, Don Moore. Okay, maybe you should be. Oh, we missed that pass. That actually sets up sa the Sabres nicely. Gerby doesn't... He, how does he get... How does he get stood up like that and doesn't even hit the ice? All right, more. Oh, bad clearing attempt. But he's got it now. Up to Chimera. Chimera made that a weird play. And the Sabres are back in. Stick on the ice. Up. Nick Back... Just the man you want to have the puck here. Nick Backstrom with a burst of speed. And a goal shorthanded. Nick Backstrom gets it done shorthanded. Had all the overspeed. Defense caught flat-footed. Backhand to forehand. 17th of the year. This little move around Tyler, Tyler Meyer, shorthanded, as easy as they get. Backhand to forehand, shorthanded no less. I was I didn't even have to do a deke. I was considering doing a deke, just because I love to go for flash and glitz and glamour with the Nick Backstrom goals, apparently. But none really needed on that one. A very simplistic goal from number 19. And your Washington Capitals have a pretty late third period lead. Don't let the Sabres get back in it. Wow, Holpe, you made that an interesting adventure for yourself. Well, now we can go for the Nick Backstrom dangles. He windmills and had lost it. But he's killed time and has killed even more time with a good stick check. Stafford is in. Our poke check was not strong enough. Another one put on. Self-pass works up to the man out of the box. It's Eric Fair. He's the only man. He's going to float it just wide of Miller while everyone behind him is changing. What a weird board pin that was. <laughs> Come on, Wolski. Poke it free. Sabres looking to even this game up. And they will press. They'll dump it in now. Try to get it back on the retrieval on the forecheck. It's Alex Ovechkin. The great eight dangles. Oh, man, I've been so close. Again, just been so close to scoring some sick goals this year. And just haven't quite been able to pull them all off. Nice play by Alzer on the back check. Oh, Braden Olpe. May have just won the game for the Washington Capitals with that save. Oh, my God. What a diving glove save. Looked like a shortstop like Derek Jeter out there with that save. Incredible work. Erat is onside. And his dance to the out to the inside didn't work. Uh-oh. See, that's what happens when you miss a body check. But we got the recovery on the back check. Greenspan sat down. Schultz can't get to the puck. He took the wrong route to it. Oh, that was Gerby, wasn't it? Ovechkin now. Saucer pass. Erat's offside. Give up on the play. Give up on the play. You're offside. Green pulling it back. Finds Erat this time. Drop for Green. Across to Schultz. Schultz is wide of the net. Case for us in the last couple games. Just missing the net a lot. Especially defensemen and slap shots. 
Doesn't matter where they come from. Just been missing them. All right, Johansson. That will punch move to the outside. Gets him some space. He'll cut back against the grain. Protecting the puck. Still got it. Puck protection. Miller makes a sprawling save as well with the stack the pads. Sabres are in. That move by Leno pops up in front of Holpe. He's going to cover. We'll take a face off. And I think I'll take a timeout. Timeout taken. Trying to get my first line, first pairing on the ice. But man, has Braden Holtby been a monster in the goal crease for the Washington Capitals in this game. Worked so much. Oh, honestly, I think he's overworked. Coming off of back-to-back, -back, playing back-to-back -back games on back-to-back -back nights. That's the best save of them all. And he's giving your Washington Capitals a chance to win the game. I want Ovi to get an empty netter. If we can get it. Is the net even empty for Buffalo? I imagine it is at this point. It's a missed. That's a missed pass. Back to the point. Don't ruin this for Ovi here. He has a chance at an easy empty netter. To get him back in the. Uh, in the. Uh, in the Richard Trophy races. I was trying to focus on getting the puck to Ovi. He'll score it as easy of a goal as they come. But that gets him closer. As he is now at 35, I believe, the lead in the NHL is 42. He can do this. He's catching Corey Perry and Zach Parisi at the top of the league standings and goals scored. It is an empty netter, but with all the time he's missed this season, he deserves it. Can't go wrong with an Alex Ovechkin goal, even if it's on an empty net. We're playing for Ovi now for the rest of the season for his stats. Trying to get him to win that Richard Trophy. Oh, no! Drew Stafford goes bar down on Holtby from a range. And now you're glad you have the Ovechkin empty netter. As the Sabres cut it to one on a loose play. The puck got loose there. Bar down. Nasty shot from Drew Stafford. A kind of a gimme. <laughs> from Brain Holtby, he really came out the challenge. Do you think... The Sabres can tie this now. I'm going full attack. I am not. Leave, I don't want to leave anything on the line here. We need a face-off win in the worst way. It's up. Ovechkin. And he'll shoot on Miller. That'll be saved. Seven-tenths of a second left in the game. So that's definitely victory. Completely sealed. There's your top five in goals. Catching Sid the kid as well. If we can win this and shoot. We won. Shot blocked, though. And we do take victory. And we get an Ovechkin goal in the process. It's a win in regulation. We bury the Sabres further in the standings. I think that's it. They were on a lifeline coming into this game. 